Hey, I'm Roland and I'm at the Samsung booth at MWC 2018 and here's something that you might not have expected. This is a device called SMG888 and if you've been following along on the Samsung newsfeed on the web, you've probably heard of this device as the possible first foldable smartphone that is oh so amazing and possibly coming next year. But this one is actually a more rugged device than a foldable device. This is a special device that is supposed to be used by um, public services, for example, the police force or the fire brigade or ambulance drivers, for example, or maybe even in the army, because it is very, very rugged. If you look closely at it, you'll see that it is super rugged. It's actually more than a centimeter in thickness. That is almost like half an inch, I'd say. I don't know the specifics about US measurements, but what I can say is it is kind of a adapted Galaxy S7 technically that has been pimped to do special things. So it's running on the PS LTE networks that are popping up all over the world. That's where Samsung is trying to sell this. So it has a bunch of special features for those networks that are dedicated to uh, public services, which is why they're called PS LTE. And this thing is very rugged in the sense that it is IP68 certified. It has a super rubberized uh, casing. It is very strongly uh, rubberized in the sense that it is also not the thinnest device at all. It has a 5.5 inch screen on the front that runs at a resolution of 2560 by 1440 like on the Galaxy S7 or at least S7 Active. There is also the Galaxy uh, typically or standard that you, you know from other devices which are those buttons down here. There are, there are four hardware buttons for obviously recently used apps. There's one for going back home and the return button. Down here is a massive speaker that is probably capable of even being heard in very loud environments. And at the top, you have the earpiece plus a five megapixel front facing camera that's capable of full HD video. Over there next to it are the brightness and distance sensors and the earpiece. And over here on the left is a very, very bright uh, notification LED that doesn't uh, actually work right now or it's not on because the device isn't really charging. If you go over to the right, that's your power button right there. And as you can see, there are some uh, grip kind of things to make it easier to hold. And if we move over to the back, this is where it gets really interesting. This is a triple LED flash that is supposed to obviously um, deliver as much light as they can, even in very dark situations. Plus there is a 12 megapixel sensor back here, like on the Galaxy S7, it has a f1.7 f aperture, just like on the Galaxy S7, and this back cover also pops off. So let me just try and get it off without setting off the alarm here at the booth. So you just basically work your way around. It's pretty much like on the Galaxy S7 Active. And then you pop this off. Uh, it's kind of stuck up there. And there you go. So you have the SIM card tray plus your SD card tray. And if you look at the battery, you'll see it's a 20, 4500 milliamp hour battery. So that's a pretty massive battery that will hopefully last quite a long time during the day. Uh, to, during the workday of these uh, public service officers that will be using this device. Once you pop the cover back on, it should be fully IP68 certified. You can lock the device down here so this cover doesn't pop off. And if we move over to the top, you'll actually see that there is your headset jack right there. There is an emergency button which connects you directly to the central office of whatever entity is working with these devices. So if an officer is out in the street and there up comes a uh, dangerous situation, he just hits that button and he gets directly connected to the main office. Next to that, over here, beside uh, to the side of the headset jack is the noise canceling microphone. And if we move over to the left, this up here is your volume rocker, just like you know from any other, other phone. But this down here is something that isn't pretty much on any other phone, from Samsung at least. This is a button that you push and then you get connected through the public service LTE network for a push to talk, speech or video connection. So it works, works like a walkie talkie. Down here behind this connector, which I can't turn, take off because of the security devices that are uh, placed onto the devices here at MWC, is a micro USB port. That's what my guess is because USB type C would be kind of way, way up to date for public service offices to use. 
at least um, that's just my guess. And at the bottom you get two pogo pins down here that are actually used for charging. So if the officer comes back to the main office and needs to charge a device, he just puts it down into a specialized docking station and the device will get charged without you having to fiddle with the flap over here for the USB port and uh, plugging in the USB cable. Next to that is the, uh, the speech mic and that is pretty much it. And if we go into the software, uh, you'll first notice that the device has the active display just like the Galaxy S7 used to have and this is the LTE setup for the for the button over here which I just pressed and as you can see it runs pretty much the software from the Galaxy S7 which includes Android 6.0.1 so it's the old Android version right here with a bunch of specialized apps and uh, let's just have a quick look at the at the settings here let me just pull these up go down here about device and then you'll see there's the model number right there SMG 888N0 which is as I said the specialist device for PSLTE networks there's also also this app out here which is the package inspector which will tell us a bunch of things about the device or its insides there you can see it's got the Exynos 8890 which is the octa-core SoC from the Galaxy S7 uh, series running at two, up to 3.2.3 uh, gigahertz and there's a screen resolution of 2560 by 4040 pixels. I also know that this device is running with 4 gigs of, of RAM and there's 32 gigs of onboard flash storage which can be extended through micro SD as you just saw on the back. So that's just been a very quick look at the Samsung PS LTE device which is kind of a super ruggedized version of the Galaxy S7 Active here at MWC 2018.